Ladies and gentlemen, the machine of AI is officially stealing creative jobs right now. So if you are an illustrator or concept artist, probably your job is not gonna last very long. Recently, an illustrator in game development called Shu Ying Gang said that two people could potentially do the work that used to be done by 10 people, which is amazing because AI can in theory do a lot of work in a short period of time and it can be infinitely creative. She also said AI is developing at a speed beyond our imagination. So this Chinese artist is probably working for a company, I mean a video game company owned by the biggest publishers such as Tencent, which is huge and has a lot of studios all over the world. And business wise, it makes a lot of sense to cut jobs and reduce the amount of money they spend on jobs such as illustration and concept art just because they can do it. And since two people can do the job of 10 people, just working on final touches and making sure the art is great and looking good, it seems very intriguing, I'm not gonna lie. Since these people and companies want to fill their pockets in the first place and the people and the artists come second, it's no surprise to me expect it to happen more and more especially in the west so this wave is taking place and starting in the east in chinese companies probably also in japan and stuff but this sure as hell will reach the west if not this year maybe in the next few years we also have another freelance illustrator and artist called amber Yu. We used to make around 430 to a thousand bucks for every video game poster she drew she did this making promotional posters published on social media to attract players and introduce new features, which was time consuming and required a lot of work. This was in the past, because with the advent of image generators such as Dal E and the Journey, things are changing. Game companies now are equipped with AI image generators and they can create similar quality or even better in a shorter period of time compared to relying on artists because they can do many iterations and they can do the work over and over and over again in a limited period of time and they will need artists only for doing finishing touches. As a consequence, giant tech companies and video game companies in China started using these programs and algorithms to create video game characters, backdrops and promotional materials. And this is creating a lot of anxiety in the industry, specifically in China in game development. And as I said, since companies such as Tencent has studios in the West, I am pretty sure that this will reach the West. For example, they own Riot Games, the developer of League of Legends, and they own it entirely. While it owns 40% stake in Epic Games, the developer of Fortnite, Tencent also has a 5% stake in Activision Blizzard, the company behind popular franchises like Call of Duty and World of Warcraft, and a 10% stake in Bluehole the developers of Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. And just to give you an example, recently a studio that employs 15 illustrators who specialize in character design were laid off only this year in 2023. And these people believe that AI is the first one to blame. My honest opinion is these companies are testing the waters and they are trying to see if this is gonna work or not. From what we have seen so far, AI can do a lot of amazing stuff. But to say that artists are gonna be replaced completely is just not gonna happen because we need the human touch to fine tune the art and to judge it. Most likely the jobs of concept artists and illustrators is gonna be cut and not eliminated completely. So most likely studios will employ only the best of the best to judge the quality of the AI. Like for example in a car company, in the early days people used to do a lot of different things like welding the metal, putting the parts together, and doing a lot of manual labor. And now it is all done by the robots. And people for the most part do very very specific tasks and most importantly they are responsible for quality control and making sure that the machines don't make a lot of mistakes and that the final result is gonna be desirable and that it's gonna be on point. NetEase is another video game development company that started using AI. They actually started applying AI-based technologies to assist game animations and the models are trained using its proprietary or licensed resources. A spokesperson from the company said, Our goal has been to develop better tools to enable our talented teams and art designers, in addition to the illustrators, 
to create assets faster or more efficiently during the game development process. From this quote alone, you can see that their goal is to make art faster and more efficient. So there is a lot of emphasis on that. And it is the main and the most important goal from what we can see. The sad thing AI generated art is becoming so good and so skilled that some illustrators talked about giving up drawing altogether. This is really hard and I can really empathize with these people because they spend most of their time and most of their life training on becoming the best artists they can be and now AI is taking their jobs and practically making their lives miserable, financially, emotionally and on many other different levels. One artist said, our way of making a living is suddenly destroyed. Even though this is a sad thing, the reality is the machine is not gonna stop because the people behind it are making a lot of money and they are reducing a lot of costs. And when it comes to business, if there is a choice between you as a human being and making profits or reducing costs, the choice is obvious. And the funny thing is that illustrators are saying that employers are encouraging them to use AI generators to boost their productivity, so to speak. And this is proving to be very fruitful. So the artist said previously employees could draw a scene or a character in a day. Now with the help of AI, they could make 40 a day and they can do it easily in this period of time. This is a nightmare for artists, but it is like heaven for game development companies. Because with this increase of productivity, they can choose from a different variety of arts and illustrations because this is an iterative game and the more you produce, the more options they have and the more time and money they save. But there is another ugly side to this equation. As AI is getting used more and more, artists are fearing for their jobs and they are becoming extremely competitive. So crunch culture will become extreme. One of the good things about the state of AI right now is that AI image generators still lack some human capabilities according to illustrators because they can fulfill some very specific orders. Although they can excel at creating anime and cyberpunk styles, they don't excel when it comes to creating some niche aesthetics. Some studios in China are using Midjourney and Stable Diffusion this year and one illustrator said they can create polished illustrations, but they were unable to come up with designs that address specific clients needs. At least for their company, it couldn't replace the human workers because he said it is just a tool that assists them. Jeffrey Ding, an assistant professor at George Washington University who studies the development of AI in China said, the advancement of AI could open up competition and create new opportunities, but it can also eliminate a wide range of white collar jobs, especially the ones currently done with computers. Just to make it clear, using AI in game development and illustration is not gonna be only related to big companies and big game studios. Because even independent developers and indie developers are using AI right now to create concept art and illustrations. They do it to save costs by creating characters and backdrops with AI, which makes a lot of sense for them, especially financially. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to stay updated with the news of the CG industry and 3D software. Thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.